Welcome back to All Stringer Creations. I'm Greg. Today we've got the biggest blank I've tried to turn yet. This is a full 18 inches. It's actually a little bit over 18 inches. Uh, ambrosia maple. It's an end grain piece and I'm going to try coring it with the McNaughton coring system and get at least two, maybe three bowls out of it. Now, my capacity on my lathe is 18 inches, so right now we're really pushing the limit. But maybe by chipping some of the uh, bark off, it'll fit. But if it doesn't have enough clearance, just hit it with a chainsaw and we'll get it on there one way or the other. So, come with me and enjoy the video and let's check this adventure out. Okay, this is what we're working with today. It's a bit of ambrosia maple. And uh, like I say, it is right at 18 inches. But I'm thinking that I can uh, get enough clearance by taking some of this bark off. Now, I've got an inclusion on this end. So this will need to be the base so that I can trim that off. So that means the face plate is going this end. Now again, I'm using these number twelve. Two inch long sheet metal screws. Now some of the smaller uh, bowl blanks I use, I can get away with using number 10 one and a half inch screws or one inch screws. But on the larger bowls, I like the longer and heavier screw to keep especially in grain because these bolts screws will pull out of the in grain if you're not careful. And you definitely, I know you've heard it before, but you don't want to use uh, drywall screws. They will break on you. I see uh, some guys, some turners use um, deck screws, and I agree that those are better options than drywall screws, but I still like the, uh, the heavier sheet metal screws, besides they're not uh, they use a hex, a socket to drive them instead of a uh, screwdriver tip. All right, see if I can get this mounted up and uh, I'll bring you back after I do. Okay, well, not sure. How oh, well that's going to work, but not one way to find out, is it?
I believe this bowl is going to be a bit taller than I want it to be. It's a bit deeper than I want. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to part it about four inches here and make a uh, make a dish, a platter, then turn the bowl down to set in the, in the platter because still this inclusion goes a lot deeper than uh, a lot deeper than I'd hoped that it would. So uh, I'm going to turn it down to get at least most of that inclusion, if not all of it, out of the bowl and then turn a platter to set the bowl on and I'm still gonna try to uh, core the bowl and do at least two or three bowls possibly four I don't know um, but if I can get two more bowls out of this I'll, I'll be uh, I'll be happy all right let me get set up I'm going to part this for part of the way and then I suppose I'll take a chainsaw and finish it off. But I use my parting tool to establish the, uh, the cut line so that I've got it even all the way around. Alright, let's get set up. So I've got most of that inclusion out of the, so I'm about to the end of it, so I should be able to turn that away. It's still showing here and the wood's really punky around it. I might actually have to stabilize that. We will, uh, I guess I'll see once I get a little closer in. But uh, as you can see, cut it down to a more manageable depth that's about six inches maybe seven all right let's uh work on this platter for a bit and then we'll get the bowl back up okay we're down to right at 700 rpm let's see what we got
a lot of chatter. It's gonna be gonna be rough. Actually, it doesn't look as bad as I expected it to. But it needs to be deeper. I'm afraid I'm going to be blocking the camera, so I'm just going to turn the camera off while I try to get into this corner because I'm going to have to get in front of the camera. And there ain't no sense in wasting the footage. Then I'm going to have to edit out anyway. Back in a minute. Well, I left it off longer than I intended to, but uh, to be honest with you, it got turning. I got involved in it and lost track of time what I was doing. Well here is the basic shape. That just needs to be smoothed and finished. This um, I thought was going to be a dish actually. I thought it was going to be a platter. But as I turned it, it told me it didn't want to be a platter and decided it wanted to be another little shallow bowl. So I flooded the uh, the pith area with CA glue to uh, hopefully prevent it from cracking. So far it's, uh, it's held up a lot better than I anticipated it doing. So we'll see if uh, that helps ensure that it doesn't split. And I'll let this sit. It's not sandy. It's still damp enough that it doesn't want sand. So um, I'm going to let it dry for a few days and see if I can get it to sand and then uh, put a finished check mark on it. So I'll come back to the video when it's uh, when I get it sanded and we'll get a finish on it and let's see what the final result is thank you for sticking around I've got a coat of shellac on here i need to sand it down and put another couple coats on before i call it finished completely and uh, pretty happy with it as it has dried the center has sunk in just a little bit at the pith but uh, other than that no cracks uh, no checking and really no warping I mean it's turned out fairly fairly straight so my first large ingrain piece I'm happy with it so and furthermore than that I've got somebody who's already claimed it and he's happy with it that is what really matters but the piece that I cut it off of, I was going to make a bowl out of, unfortunately split real bad. This has been several weeks since I first started turning it and it has taken me longer. I've had to stop. There's several issues that came up. Some sickness and then I got tired of not being able to do anything on my workbench. I have torn it completely out and rebuilt it and I've worked on my bowl kiln, converted a dishwasher uh, for it. I was going to have a video for it but unfortunately I lost a lot of the video so you won't get that build. But I have high hopes for it and I have an idea that I'm going to try to salvage this and it does not involve epoxy and dyes so that'll be another video and I hope that uh, hope you come back to see that in the meantime I've got several other projects I've got uh, I cut up some walnut some cryptomeria and some box elder I've got a couple requests for uh, a couple of uh, rolling pins and I've got about a half dozen 
salt and pepper grinders actually a little more than that uh, to do and I'm going back to pins for a little while I've got several people wanting pins and thought I'd gotten done with pins for for some time but looks like I've got uh, probably a dozen or two pins to make and uh, so that's going to take uh, take a few days and I doubt I get into any of the videos of that um, with possible exception I've got a couple of really really pretty burls that uh, I'm going to make a couple of fountain pens out, uh, out of and I may video those I don't know yet but I hope you come back and and join me with uh, the next video I appreciate you watching this one if you haven't subscribed, I would greatly appreciate you joining the team and and uh, enjoying my adventure, helping me along, watch with me as I learn this uh, this uh, wood turning thing, and it's a lot of fun. So it's hot out here. I'm tired, and it's time to go in. So I'm gonna tell you goodbye. Come back and and join me with the next video. Thanks.